Welcome back to Kids Cards. We are going to do all signs tonight. See what your person could be thinking, feeling, what they think of you, and what direction this could possibly go in. Keep in mind if it is not your story, it is not your story. Check your other placements. Energy changes all the time. So we're going to jump right in. Please do give a thumbs up, like the video, help promote my channel. I greatly do appreciate that. So for Aries. The Aries person thinking. All right. So they're thinking about love for sure. There really doesn't seem like there was, there could have been a choice between two people. Can be a Gemini that you're dealing with. Can be a Capricorn. Hmm. They're seeing you moving on to a different direction. If this was anything, it's just going to be screwing, really. Because it's just like... They're showing that they feel a connection with you, but they're toxic. One more. For how they're viewing you. I mean, they definitely are interested in you, but I don't think they have good intention. So that's what we have for you, Aries. Be careful with that one. Okay, a few shuffles and we will move on to Taurus. What is the Taurus's person thinking, feeling? One more. All right. These will be timestamped below, so you can skip over this crap if you want to and go to another sign. Shuffling for Taurus's person. All right. Let's see what we have. Okay. Got a few. Got a card or extra. Okay. So right now they're really considering something that had ended. They're pissed off about it. However it ended, they are pissed off. They're seeing that you feel hurt. I actually feel that this is kind of a mutual energy between the two of you. They have a lot of sexual interest, but they're full of shit. I mean, if they come your direction anytime soon, they're not going to be truthful. Mm -mm. It's almost like they feel like... Conceited and asshole is, you know, two really good words, I think. There's no no foundation, no balance. This person is selfish. Mm -mm. Taurus, hold back on that one. Okay. One or two shuffles for Gemini. One. And two. And the reunion card wanted to pop out. Let's see what we get for you, Gemini. Gemini. Chariot. Can be a Cancer as well. They feel like moving forward. However, they're watching. They see that you are very competent by yourself. They do want to come in. They want to make some action known for them, sure. It's almost like they're, they really want to jump in here. They really want to jump in. They see that you're perfectly capable. You're single. You're able to take care of yourself. You might even be enjoying this crap. It also can be that you're trying to show them. Kind of like a little lesson. Kind of like, <laughs> kiss it, buddy. I got everything going on. This is what you're showing them. Bottom of the deck was the sun. Can be a Leo. Cancer. But they want to come in with the truth. They want to come in hot, heavy. Let's clarify that Knight of Swords. Let's clarify that Knight of Swords. All right. But what they offer isn't stable. Be careful. Stick with that energy that you have going on right now. Where it's like, you know what? If I don't feel it and it's not honest, kiss it. All right. Moving on to Cancer. We're going to switch decks. All right. Cancer. First Spirits Guides. What do we have for the Cancer person thinking, feeling? How they view the Cancer? All right. They are very much anxious. They're definitely feeling that there wasn't something balanced, that they didn't get a fair shake in something. Very anxious, very nervous. Can be depression about it. But thoughts of you... They have emotion, but not enough 
pages are tiny, you know. Pages, they got to man up a little bit if they want to deal with cancer. Let's get one or two more. They're afraid of that page. Oh, apparently they might man up. They might man up. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. So this could end up being a reconciliation. You also, bottom of the deck, the world, something that had once ended, they're in a lot of mental turmoil over something that they didn't feel like they got a fair shake, really. They want to come your direction. They're seeing you in a, in a loving way. If they're going to man or girl up, there there definitely could be a potential reunion on the way for you, Cancer. Okay, a few shuffles and we will move on to Leo. Leo. Two more. Again, to, to uh, please do so, give a thumbs up all. I would appreciate to promote the channel. So I am told, oh. Leo, 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 Leo. What do we have for Leo? What's their person thinking, feeling? Ooh, very stubborn energy. Very stubborn energy. Okay, so they're taking some time to heal. They definitely have, they want to offer you something. They want to come your direction. How, how they're viewing you is a reconciliation or moving in your direction. This can be something very, very brand new. Oh yeah, they're coming your way. They're manifesting something. They want this to work out. Can be an Aquarius, can be an Aries Leo Sag, can be a water sign, pretty much anything would go here. But this person has intentions towards you that are pure. Very attracted to you. Healing, wish fulfillment. They're ready to go. That looks sweet. That doesn't need any clarification. All right, moving on to Virgo. Let's get a few shuffles for Virgo, please. All right, Virgo. Two more shuffles. What is that person thinking, feeling? How do they view the Virgo? One more. Hermit wanted to pop out. Let me see what happens. Okay. Virgo. What was the Virgo's person thinking, feeling? How do they view the Virgo? Okay. Let's see what we have. All right. So heartbreak. There was an ending. Very up in their head. They see you as giving up on this crap. They see you as very single and very able. Okay. Very able. If they come your direction at all, it's it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be for a while if they do. Trying to let go of something that had been heartbroken, you know, they're heartbroken. Again, this feels like a mutual energy. But you still have some oomph left in you to say, yes, this is burdensome crap, but I'm able to take care of myself. Nine of Pentacles, beautiful card to have when you're trying to reestablish yourself Single, be self-reliant. You're radiant. Could be living alone. Single by choice. Can be an emotional distance that you're feeling towards the person that potentially had hurt you. But right now, there isn't any movement. Not for the time being. Okay, moving on to Libra. A couple shuffles for Libra. Libra, please do give a thumbs up, like the video, help to promote my channel and circulate the videos. Check your other placements if this does not resonate for you. Libra's person, what are they thinking, feeling? Any movement forward? Let's see what hit the dirt. Okay. So it's the end of a conflict. Let's get a couple more. Fives are always conflict. This is reverse. It's kind of want to make it make up with a situation. Yes. This person still has emotion. They do feel sorry, bottom of the deck. There's an apology that's needed. Is it you or them? Let's get one for how they feel about you. How do they how do they view the Libra? How are they viewing the Libra? 
Ooh, loud and clear, flipping out. They see you as gotten it all together, okay? They look at you and it can be an Aries that you're dealing with or has an Aries placement. But they see that you're stable, that you seem like, a, you know, there's a, a future that's worthwhile. If you are completely single when the Emperor comes up, it means you should be meeting somebody new. It can be a new energy that you're feeling, somebody else that had been in a situation that didn't, you know, that you could be working towards a different goal together. Um, but they do have very good intentions. There's just some conflict that needs to be gone past. Let's see. Action forward. One for action forward. Uh, not right now. Six of Wands reverse. It can be somebody that's just indecisive, having some doubts. They they can be very up in their head about themselves, but it's kind of like having a big ego and being pessimistic. So right now there isn't. A, I mean, they they view you. They really look up to you. They see you as something, someone that they want to be with. Are they feeling crappy about themselves? That very well can be too. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. So I say give that one a little bit of time. There's an apology that needs to come out. There's two fives. Conflict. Conflict. Okay, that's what I have for you tonight, Libra. All right, we're going to switch decks and move on to Scorpio. Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go with this one. Okay, Scorpio. So our spirits, guys, what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio's person? What are they thinking, feeling? Okay. So, ooh. All right. A couple more. Okay, so there's some stagnancy right now. They're very much up in their head thinking about a situation. They do want to come your direction. They see you as the king of pentacles. So there isn't a lot of emotion in here. It's like... There, it was like false start. Things did not get off on the right foot. Really put them in their head, hangman. It's like they, you know, needed to snip that damn rope. Drop down to reality again. Because they are so much, very much in their head. Potential action forward. The sun. Damn sweet card. Let's clarify that hangman. Clarify that hangman. I mean, it's it's new. It's waiting. There's there's some waiting going on here. Okay. So we have temperance again, waiting, healing. It's almost like when they're damn good and ready. Not in a negative way at all. Not in a negative way at all. This is the that you're the wish fulfillment. They feel strongly about you. There is emotion here. They might be feeling that you're just a little bit more invested in your home life and what you're taking care of and not sure if they should come your direction. They're not sure if you're interested. Mm. That doesn't look bad. I mean, the Nine of Cups is the wish cards, wish fulfillment. This is emotion. But the the King of Cups doesn't always share how they feel about everything. can be Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Earth signs we have up here. Leo I'm going to say that this person has emotion for you and they are not sure what the hell you think of them. This could have been something that really got off on the wrong foot and made them feeling kind of lack. Not sure about themselves. That or you do. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed. Okay, let's get a couple shuffles and move on to Sagittarius. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle. Star card wanted to pop out. Two more shuffles. Please do take time to give a thumbs up to help promote the channel. I greatly appreciate it. I absolutely love doing this. It is fun for me to do. I like to get those messages out there for others. Okay, Sagittarius, what is your person thinking, feeling? What is the Sagittarius person thinking, feeling? How do they view the Sagittarius? Let's get one more shuffle. Not usually this stubborn. Are you being stubborn, Sag? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. One more time. Much better. Okay. So that is the lover's card. There is a, there is a bond here. There is an emotional connection. 
That, believe it or not, in this deck is the Ten of Cups. It's just a darker deck, so don't think that it's negative just because it's darker. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups can be a water sign as well, heavy on the Gemini. The lovers can be a choice between two. However, I'm feeling that this is more towards a harmony and a blessing connection with somebody that you they feel strongly that you could be a good match for them. How they view you? Check that baby out. The Queen of Wands. They see that you are outgoing, attractive, that you have got it going on. There's a lot of sexual interest here. They see you as warm and loving, and at the same time, you're you're just like a magnet. You pull people in. Let's get let's get a card for action forward. I mean, this looks pretty damn sweet. Really, really does, Sag. Action forward. They plan to take. Okay. They're not sure how you feel. <laughs> Period. And that could be because, okay, you're, I mean, you are a fire sign. Let's face it. Those fire signs are very, very bold. So this person can be a little bit more on the meek side. They're not sure what you would do. That's the moon in this. It, you know, it's, it's secrets. It's delusions. It's a new beginning. Eight of Swords. They do not know what you think of them. They are up in their head. So you might want to give them a little bit of a nudge because it, it looks damn good. Give them a nudge, Sag. Let them know that you have interest. All right, moving on to Capricorn after a shuffle or two. Okay, one... Page of Cups wanted to pop out. That would be nice. Okay, for Capricorn. Source Spirits Guides. What do we have for Capricorn's person's thoughts? Feelings. How do they view Capricorn? Let's see what we have coming out. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Reverse. Hmm. Well, we don't like greedy assholes. We really do not. Okay. And we have the Eight of Rods. So there is going to be action moving forward. They definitely have some interest here in you. You will be hearing from this person. You've got the Queen of Pentacles and then the King of Pentacles. How they view you is have Now this can be somebody at a workplace. Heavy on the earth. They don't know what the hell they want though. Mm -mm. So I would be a little bit careful because they could just have sexual in you know intent with you with them being reversed it's being non-committal it's not having something stable to offer and very emotionally crappy about it very greedy emotionally where you're over here they view you as something that's worthwhile but they're going to treat you like an option and they're going to act confused screw them screw them capricorn no okay Move on to Pisces. Two shuffles. Oh, I'm sorry, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius next. Okay. Holy crud. Aquarius, this person has a lot to say. Let's see what we have. Okay. Okay. Well, there's the end of one cycle for this person. You've got the world with the sun right next to it. How they view you, the queen of pentacles upright. I mean, there is definitely, they feel very warm. They want to, you know, ask you out. They want there to be a beginning after they had finished a cycle. Let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Oh, yeah, these guys Pat, yeah, these guys fell out too. Okay, so death reverse can be somebody from your past that does not want an ending. 
definitely is a union. Ho, ho, ho. That's the four of rods. But it seems like there's a little bit of a weight here. So, two stories here, or a few. There had been an ending of some sort. And any relationship that you try to get back or, you know, reunite with somebody, there has to be new energy. There has to be the the death of the old relationship to try to make way for a new one. But this has some major stability, something to celebrate. It's going to take a little bit of time. This person also can be at a distance from you, especially with the world and the three of rods there, definitely can be. But how they're viewing you is having your... <laughs> Having your act together, being fair, emotionally stable. Yep, yep, that looks damn nice. That would have some nice potential. Okay, now Pisces. Please do give a thumbs up to help promote the channel. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe. Would love to have you here more often. Comment below if you have any uh, thoughts on how I'm doing the all signs or requests. All right. One more shuffle for Pisces. Let's see what the Pisces person could be thinking, feeling, how they view you. Okay. Pisces. Okay, well, they got themselves all up in their head, anxious as hell. I'm going to take it all here. Okay. So they're up in their head. Mm -hmm. They want to nurture something. Oh, yes. They want to come your direction and offer something. They're very confused about something that had happened. I mean, there's some... Again, this is a dark deck, but it really... This is very positive. It's wish fulfillment. That's how they see you. That is how they're viewing you. How they're feeling is nurturing. They start with the Nine of Swords. So are they anxious about coming your direction? The Nine means that they still have, you know, they still need, you didn't get to the Ten. It's not the end of something yet. So they still can be getting over something from the past. The only concern that I would have here is, are they not ready? You know, are they not ready for a relationship and yet they feel that they are? Can be a Libra. Heavy on the water here. A lot, of, a lot of emotion. The Empress is solid. It's birthing a new idea. It's birthing a, a new relationship. It's birthing a new potential. Abundance. Unconditional. Faithful. Happy, happy. Happy joy, happy joy, joy. It's going to take a little bit of time. But I do feel that this person... And maybe you should, you know, give them a nudge... Because the sun here? Really? You know, why are they confused? These two cards here. I think that they're a little bit up in their head about something that had ended for them in the past. If that was a situation with you. Let me have at the bottom of the deck. Four of coin when questioning the nine. So it's something that they were trying to hold on to too tightly. That apparently didn't go well from that. Okay, and then followed with the fool. So, you know, this is new. This is new energy to move forward. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. So it's slow, but it's sturdy. And it's definitely reliable. Can be an Aries as well. That looks damn nice, actually. It's almost like they are confusing the shit out of you. <laughs> But they're also confusing the hell out of themselves. Something from their past that they just held on too tightly and did not work out. So they're moving into a new energy and so are you. Okay, guys, this is what I have for you today. Please, again, do give a thumbs up, like to help promote the channel. Thank you for watching and many blessings.